Hello everyone, this is Dr. E and for today, pag-uusapan naman natin yung mga parallel lines and perpendicular lines sa geometry. Sa algebra, alam natin na ang parallel lines, yan yung may mga slope na kaparehas or magkakaparehas. At ang perpendicular lines naman, yan yung uh, negative reciprocal slope ng isa sa mga lines ng ating uh, um, two lines para masabi silang perpendicular lines. At ngayon naman, sa geometry, gagamit tayo ng mga properties and theorems sa parallel and perpendicular lines na gagamitin natin sa pagsagot ng mga problems on uh, well parallel lines and of course writing two column proofs on this topic so unahin natin yung parallel postulates at yung sa parallel postulates natin through a point not on a line there is one and only one line parallel to that given line so ito yung illustration ng postulate na yan at kung gusto niyo mas ma mas ma visualize yung postulate na yan ibig lang sabihin ko meron daw tayong line Let's say itong line na to ay line L at meron tayong line meron tayong line P right here. Ito yung line P. Itong isang point na ito, ito lang daw yung point na pwedeng mag uh, um, magbigay ng parallel line to line P given this parallel parallel line postulates. Kasi kung meron pa tayong isang line other than this line right here, let's say line M na magko-cross dito sa P, mapapansin natin na hindi na siya parallel at any line other than line P, yun lang ang parallel kay line L. So, wala nang iba kasi yan yung postulate natin or par parallel postulates dito sa ating first um, properties ng ating parallel lines. So, isa lang ang pwede maging parallel line na magko-cross dyan sa point P. Na yan. At yung second natin is perpendicular postulates na sinasabi through a point not on a line, there is one and only one line perpendicular to the given line which has the same concept as a parallel line dahil kung meron tayong, let's say, two lines na parallel to each other, let's say ito yung line L at ito naman si line P. At si line P ay parallel dahil 90 degrees siya dito kay line L. Itong point P na to, ito lang ang line na ito na magkakross kay point P na parallel kay L. Kasi kapag meron pang isang linya na magkakross kay point P, hindi na siya magiging, I mean, perpendicular na parallel. Perpendicular kay line L. Kasi kung meron tayo halimbawang line na ganito, pag in-extend natin yung line na yan, Kahit nasa point P siya, itong line na ito ay hindi na siya perpendicular dahil meron na tayong obtuse angle na ma-form. So yan yung perpendicular postulate natin na gagamitin din natin para sa pagsagot ng mga problems natin in a little while. At itong ating unang theorem na gagamitin, ito yung theorem about perpendicular transversal. So ibig sabihin nito, in a plane, let two parallel lines be cut by a transversal. If the transversal is perpendicular to one of the parallel lines, then it is perpendicular to the other parallel line. So, ibig sabihin yan, kung meron daw tayong two parallel lines, one, two, parallel yan sa isa't isa, cut by a transversal, at yung transversal natin na ito ay perpendicular, let's say, sa line L, Ibig sabihin yan, kung perpendicular siya kay line L, perpendicular din siya kay line M. So yan ang ibig sabihin ng perpendicular transversal theorem. At syempre, meron tayong diagram dyan, which is if L and M and T, if L is per parallel to M and T is perpendicular to L, then ang conclusion natin is that T is also perpendicular to M. So yan yung perpendicular uh, transversal theorem natin at yung susunod natin theorem would be two lines parallel to a third line theorem. And in this theorem, if two lines are parallel to the same line, then all three lines are parallel to each other. So kung meron daw tayong perpendicular lines na line A and B at line B and C na perpendicular to each other, so yung 
pairing ni A and C ay also parallel sa isa't isa. So, yan yung tinatawag nating two lines parallel to a third line theorem. At since meron na tayong mga postulates at mga theorem na dis discuss in our slides, we can easily write a two-column proof dito sa statement na ito na kung saan meron tayong plane at sa plane na yan, meron tayong parallel and perpendicular lines. CL ay parallel to M at CT ay perpendicular to L. Kailangan lang natin i-prove na CT ay perpendicular to M. And to do that, tulad ng ginagawa natin sa pagsulat ng two-column proofs, it's always easier kung Ido-drawing natin yung ating illustration. So, meron tayong parallel lines dyan. At itong parallel line na to ay si L at si M. And may perpendicular line tayo dito kay uh, M, or I mean kay L, at ito si L. So, ito lang yung perpendicular dyan. At ito yung ating transversal na T. So, kailangan daw natin ma-prove na si T ay perpendicular kay M. And to be able to do that, syempre, gagawa tayo ng two-column proof. Ito yung ating statement at ito yung ating reason. So, sa ating statement, syempre, yung uunahin natin is yung given information. According to this information, si L ay parallel kay M at si T ay perpendicular kay L. So, saan yan? Ito daw na si L. Ito si L ay parallel kay M, which is true, at itong si T ay perpendicular kay M. And alam natin na totoo yan dahil yan ay given. At since yan yung una nating statement, gamitin naman natin yung mga angles na na-form ni transversal at alam natin na kung ito si angle 1, at ito si angle 2, alam natin na si angle 1 at si angle 2 ay congruent dahil sila ay corresponding. So since corresponding yung angle na yan, we can say that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 dahil yan sa corresponding angle converse. At kung alam natin na corresponding yan, alam natin na si angle 1 ay right angle. So alam din natin ngayon na since corresponding at congruent yan, right angle din si 2. So we can write it out as our statement number 3 na si angle 2 is a right angle. At ba dan ay base sa definition of a right angle. So, yan yung ating uh, third statement. At sa fourth statement natin, mapapansin natin na perpendicular si 1, perpendicular din si 2 dahil meron tayong na form na right angle kay 2. So, therefore, alam natin ngayon na si T ay perpendicular kay M dahil sa, of course, definition of perpendicular lines. So yan yung ating proof or two column proof na nabuo mula dyan sa ating mga diagram and to do a recap para mas malinaw yung ating mga writing dahil alam kong yung aking handwriting ay hindi kagandahan inuna natin sa ating statement yung mga given information parallel si L and M and also perpendicular si T kay L. So yan yung given natin and sinundan natin yan ng Angle 1 and angle 2 to be congruent dahil sila ay corresponding. So since corresponding sila, magkapareha sila ng sukat. At since magkapareha sila ng sukat, alam natin na si angle 1 ay right angle. At kung right angle si 1, si measurement ni angle 2 ay right angle din dahil yan sa definition ng right angles dahil nga congruent sila. So magkapareha sila ng sukat. And from here, since nakakakita na tayo ng perpendic, I mean, right angles sa angle 1 and 2, alam na natin ngayon na parallel si T kay M dahil yan sa definition ng perpendicular lines. So, yan yung ating two-column proof mula dun sa mga theorems and postulates na 
ni-review natin dun sa previous slide. Now, ang susunod naman natin ay mga theorem on perpendicular lines. So, ang una nating theorem, if two lines are perpendicular, then they intersect to form four right angles. So, the theorem is pretty straightforward. Na-visualize na natin yan na ibig sabihin kung mayroon daw tayong dalawang perpendicular lines, yan, perpendicular yan, ibig sabihin yan, yung kanyang mga intersection will form four right angles. So, 90 degrees to, 90 degrees to, 90 de degrees din yan, and 90 degrees yan. At pag edad natin yan lahat, yan ay equal sa 360 degrees, which is one full rotation ng ating angle. Kaya, yan yung ating perpendicular lines theorem na kung meron tayong perpendicular line LM, then yung angle 1, 2, 3, and 4, lahat sila ay equal sa 90 degrees. So, yan yung ating unang theorem sa perpendicular lines. And the second one would be if two lines intersect to form a linear pair of congruent angles, then the lines are perpendicular to each other. Notice yung mga words natin, linear pair and congruent angles. Linear pair, sila yung mga supplementary angles kasi when you add them up, it's equal to 180 degrees. At kung congruent at magkaparehas yung kanyang mga um, linear pairs, so ibig sabihin yan, perpendicular yung ating dalawang linya. So, in... Visual forms, meron tayong intersecting lines. Ito yung ating intersecting lines. Kapag ito daw ligya na ito, meron tayong angle 1 na let's say 90 degrees. Siyempre, ito ay congruent kay 2, si 1 at si 2 ay congruent. Ito din ay 90 degrees. So alam natin na kung 90 degrees yan, right angle yung mapaform yan. At alam na natin na perpendicular yung linya na nakikita natin. So, yan yung perpendicular lines theorem. If we have two angles that are congruent, who happens to be linear pairs as well, ibig sabihin yan, perpendicular si line L kay line M mula sa theorem na ito. At ang sasagutan naman natin would of course help us or yung ating Pagkuha ng value ng x ay makukuha at mahahanap natin gamit ang algebra. At pag nakakita tayo ng mga problems gaya nito, alam natin na makakatulong ang geometry for us to be able to find the values of x ng problem na ito. So let's start working on this geometry plus algebra problem. At ang una natin gagawin, syempre, i-draw natin si 90 degree angle dyan dahil yan ay given. Ito si angle 1 at alam din natin na meron tayong ray dito at dito meron tayong 49 degrees, meron tayong y, meron tayong 63 degrees at meron tayong x degrees. Ang hinahanap natin is si x degrees and to be able to do that, napakadali lamang dahil alam natin na kung si angle 1 ay equal to 90 degrees, alam na agad natin na si n at si l ay perpendicular. Dahil yan sa theorem natin kanina. So, si N at si L ay perpendicular. At kung perpendicular ito, alam natin na makakabuo tayo ng mga 90, degrees, 90 degree angles. So, 90 degree yan, 90 degree yan, at 90 degree yan. So, since lahat sila 90 degrees, makukuha na natin si value ng X by creating or formulating an algebraic equation. So, alam natin ngayon na itong angle na to ay complementary so that means 63 degrees plus x is equal to 90 degrees. And from here, since nakabuo na tayo ng algebraic equation, now we can use algebra to find the value of x. And x is 90 degrees minus 63 degrees, which is equal to 27 degrees. Kaya itong x na ito ay 27 degrees gamit ang geometry at ang algebra. And again... When working with problems similar to what we are doing right now, alam natin na kapag pinahanap sa atin si X at meron tayong given figures, gagamitin natin si geometry to be able to use its theorem para makabuo tayo ng equation. So alam natin na meron tayong 90 degrees kay 1 at alam din natin na kung may 90 degrees tayo dyan, perpendicular si N at si L, kaya pwede tayong magsulat ng ating equation 
mula syempre yan sa theorem natin kanina about 90 degree angles formed by perpendicular lines. So, since N ay perpendicular kay L, then all form or all angles formed by these lines are all right angles. Kaya, nabuo natin yung ating equation na 63 plus x degrees is equal to 90 degrees. And using algebra, we're able to solve for x, which is 27 degrees. Kaya, nakuha natin yung ating sagot. At sa number bender challenge natin for today, hanapin naman natin yung measurement ni angle 5 given this diagram. At kung nasagutan natin yung previous problem, I'm pretty confident that you will also be able to solve the number bender challenge of the day. So comment it down below and let's see kung ano ang value ng angle na yan. At yan yung lesson natin sa geometry on parallel and perpendicular lines. Minsan, kailangan natin mag-write ng two-column proofs. Minsan, kailangan natin i-combine si algebra at si geometry in solving problems like, we, like what we have covered today. At sa pagsagot ng mga problems na ito, kailangan lang ng practice at tiyaga para mas marami tayong uh, confidence na makuha sa pagsagot ng mga complex math problems tulad ito. This is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!